Now we are going to discuss another really interesting phenomena related to sound. Okay, and for that, I'll have to call an ambulance. No, nobody is sick. Let's just call an ambulance, okay? And you can hear the ambulance now, right? Listen to that. Cool? And if this ambulance starts moving past me, did you hear that? Something just changed. Was it the loudness? Or let, let's hear it once again, no? That's when it is stationary. Something crazy is happening. What is that? So I was the listener. The ambulance was the source. And when we both were fixed, there was something. And when the ambulance started moving, when there was a relative motion, we hear something, right? something different. Something has changed. Can you guess what it is? Now let's take the ambulance once again okay, and see or rather listen to what happens as it comes closer to the listener, which is you or me, right? What happened? The shrillness of the sound became more, right? It became more shriller. The pitch sort of increased, didn't it? And now when it is just standing there, there's no increase in the pitch. There's no increase in the shrillness. Now let's make it move to the other side. What did you observe? The shrillness now has decreased. It has become less shrill. It has become calmer in a way, right? So only when the van or the ambulance is moving, right? Something seems to happen and something seems to happen to the pitch. And the interesting thing is when it was coming closer to me, right? The pitch or the shrillness was increasing. And as it moved past me, the, the shrillness of the pitch has decreased. And now that it is there, you cannot sense any change in the pitch. What is this? This is an effect called as the Doppler effect. And we are going to see the physics involved in the change of the pitch. The frequency of sound seems to depend on the relative motion between the source and the observer. That's what we learned in the last uh, example which we took, right? the example of the ambulance. Now let's take one more example to understand this in little more detail. Now imagine you were sitting on a boat, chilling out somewhere, right? And there were waves coming, okay, this is a sea. Now look at this. A crest hits you, the crest of the wave hits you at time, let's say t is equal to zero. And from then on, you start counting when these crests are hitting you, right? Every time it hits you, you bump up a little. So you notice that after three seconds, another crest has hit you. And after three seconds, another crest hits you. So all the crests are coming towards you and are hitting you after interval of three seconds. All right. Now what you do is you switch on the engine of your boat and you start moving in the direction from where the crests were coming with some constant speed. This is physics. You have to have some assumptions. We are moving at a constant speed. So what will happen now? Now, if the first crest has hit you at t is equal to zero, the second crest would hit you after a smaller time because you would have moved a little bit forward, right? And the third crest would have hit you, yes, at the same time, let's say, let's say 2.5 seconds, two and a half seconds, right? So all the crests are hitting you after two and a half seconds, which is smaller than, of course, three seconds, right? Now, what would you think? You think that now the crests have become more frequent because the time gap between the crests has reduced. And in the first case, the crests were not so frequent. So what seems to happen is when you move towards the direction from where waves are coming, because you're moving, it seems that the waves have become more frequent. Now, if the waves have a speed of V and you have a speed of VL, right? The speed which you would observe of the waves, that is the speed of the waves relative to you, would be V plus VL, where VL is your speed. This is clear. This is something we have already learned in relative velocity, right? Let's translate this example to the example of sound, where you have a source of sound there, right? It's a point source and it will give out spherical wavefronts, right? And you are there, you are the listener, okay? Now, if you were stationary and if you had a source of sound, this is what would happen. The waves would come out like that, right? These are all wave fronts and uh, we are showing the crest parts of all the wave fronts. So these are all crests moving towards you. So yeah, one of the crests hits you, then another crest hits you. And the rate at which these crests are hitting you 
is basically the frequency of the sound wave right now what happens is that you start moving towards the source so what you would observe is that the wave fronts are moving faster towards you because you are moving against them right so there's an increase in the velocity again if i say that the waves have a velocity v and you have a velocity of vl then the velocity of the wave fronts coming towards you as perceived by you would be v plus vl right we have to understand one thing see whenever you move physics tells you that you don't know that you're moving of course you will deny that because when you move you know that you're moving right because if you're moving inside a room the room is not moving so you know you're moving but what physics says is speaking completely theoretically as in like if you go into space and you don't have any references so when you move inside the room you have references the walls are the references because you know the walls don't move the houses don't move so if if you see motion if you sense motion you must be moving but what physics says is and this is something you already know that if you go into space there's nothing if you look at let's say a spacecraft or something and when you and if the let's say the spacecraft is stationary and you are moving you would perceive it as you are stationary and the spacecraft is moving so when you go into a space like that whatever you see you would feel that everything else is moving except you you wouldn't perceive your own motion right right now like i'm standing on earth and uh, i say that i'm stationary right but if a person who is in space would look at me would say of course you're not stationary because you're standing on earth and our earth itself is moving it is revolving it is rotating right but i would perceive that i am in rest because i can't sense the motion all right so this is one thing we have to take care of that when that listener is moving or when you are moving right theoretically and technically and uh, in terms of physics if we talk you wouldn't know that you're moving so what would you know you would know that when you were not moving those waves like that were coming to you at some speed and now when you start moving you have according to you you are not moving those waves are moving towards you yes faster okay because of which what will happen the frequency of the wave which you would judge would would become what frequency is nothing but speed by wavelength right so what will this become f dash the new frequency which you are observing while you are moving will become v plus vl this is the observed speed divided by the wavelength of the of the wave right which is lambda and this lambda is something which is not changing this is something you calculated when even when you were not moving right so lambda according to you was equal to v divided by the old frequency f and now the new frequency becomes v plus vl divided by lambda which is v by f so f goes on the top so you get v plus vl divided by v into f this is the frequency which you observe this is the frequency this is of course this is this frequency is increased because you have added something on the numerator right now as you move past it if you if you maintain a constant velocity what you would observe is that you are hearing a changed frequency but a fixed change frequency the frequency itself is not changing while you are while you are moving because you are moving you have a changed frequency but while you are moving the frequency again doesn't change okay now the same thing would happen if you are moving in the opposite direction what would happen now instead of Uh, observing that the wave fronts are coming to you faster and faster you you feel that the wave fronts are coming to you slower right so the observed velocity would be v minus vl and again you will do the same mathematics and now you would say that the observed frequency would be v minus vl divided by v okay this is doppler effect the source is stationary and you are stationary you are observing some frequency if you move closer towards the source depending on or how much is your velocity relative to the medium you would ex- experience a higher frequency and if you're moving away you would experience a lower frequency okay this is when the source is stationary keep that in mind